Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Be your best beauty. Do the intro. Be your best, be your best. You can do it, be your best. Be your means beauty in Japanese. First of all, if you're coming back, thank you so much. And if you're new here, hello, hola, konnichiwa, and annyeonghaseyo yo yo yo. Here is a picture of my skin, really zoomed in. It's not, but my skin is dead. So it's basically the same thing. Here, I like to talk mainly about Japanese and Korean skincare, but honestly, like any skincare that I can get my hands on, I'ma get my hands on it, get my face in it, and then I'ma do my best to tell y'all about that experience. Also, just so everybody is aware, I special, but I'm not a specialist of any kind. So I will leave any links to anything that I refer to down below, any kind of references that I use to this video, you can check it out down below. In addition, there are timestamps that you can find. Uh, not the timestamp, the timestamps are not gonna be when I edit it, cause that's when I do the YouTube thing. But this is the general like mokuji or index of the video. Pachang! Little uh, sound effect. Yeah, so you can skip to whatever part it is that you are most interested in. If you don't wanna watch the whole video, that's fine. Oh, so at the end of the video, and then after everything is finished at the end of the video, lastly I have, this is my sunscreen hoard. Ta-da! So it's based on the Donkey Kong Country games. If you've ever played Donkey Kong Country 1, you know that Donkey Kong has a, he has a uh, banana hoard. And so as he defeats different bosses, he gets uh, this bunch of bananas and they all get added into his hoard. I am not out there fighting uh, different reptilian bosses. Well, yeah, so I'm not out there finding reptilian bosses, so I'm not gathering giant bunches of banana, but I am gathering sunscreen. So at the end of the video, is this gonna make it into my sunscreen hoard? Watch to find out! Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get into my evaluation scale. So first, uh, the clown emoji here. This is for a white cast. The score is from 1 to 5, highest being the best, and the lower being the worst score, I hope that makes sense, because I'm like, it makes sense in my mind, kind of. And then this one, I think is pretty self-explanatory. This is just how moisturizing the sunscreen is. This is how much the sunscreen costs. So because I am living in Japan, I have the price of how much it costs in Japan. I bought it in Japanese yen. So I'll have like two different scores. And so one of them will be the score of the average with like just the scale, but then the Japanese cost price cost versus price and then one with the international or like generally I'll be using uh, US websites versus price out I, I really words bro words I'm doing my best this emoji right here is for layerability and reapplicability so how easy is it to layer it on I usually put my uh, sunscreen on in two layers I'll put on one a layer of half a quarter teaspoon and then I'll put on another layer and then how easy is it to continue to do that throughout the day when you reapply this guy right here is uh, not an extra from Akira but uh, this is stands for pilling and so you know like when you get the little crusties and the little like like kasu is I think what it would be called in Japanese yeah so kasu means like leftovers byproduct dregs um, dregs of society yeah so when the dregs of the sunscreen society the kasu are collected on your face that is the peeling effect so if it has a lower number then it performs worse so yeah words okay so this guy is for icing so how badly does this cause me to tear up and just want to just rip my eyeballs out of my face that's pretty violent okay next one so this uh, emoji, the detective emoji, is how easy it is for this sunscreen to be found outside of Japan. Because some, uh, I buy them in the store, and then, like, some I can find online on Amazon.co.jp. Some I can't find out of the, you know, outside of Japan. So, yeah, that's, yeah. So you can think of these as, you can think of these categories as, like, the basic categories. Like, I think most sunscreens that I review will have this, these, uh, what is it called, sections used for their evaluation but then depending on the sunscreen it might have other ones like if there's like fragrance in the sunscreen or if there's like alcohol and you can like feel it you feel me so depending on the different sunscreens there will be different categories added okay so now that i've gone over the evaluation let's get on to the spf basics okay so today i will be reviewing the the medicube red moisture real sun cream so I actually did not purchase this sunscreen like 
of my own volition it uh, I there was a period of time when I was very responsible and I bought a lot of like Medicube only had three uh, face devices at the time and I bought all three very responsible but one of the perks of having made such a large purchase was that I got this sunscreen as an omake or like uh, you know like a little extra so that was nice at the time the sunscreen has an SPF of 50 plus and a PA rating of 4 pluses. The manufacturer for this sunscreen is Cosmax, I believe. So on the Japanese Medicube website, the sunscreen costs 4,100 yen for a pack of two. And it seems like they're only selling it in packs of two. So when, when I first bought all these different devices, they were selling it on its own. But now they're only selling it in packs of two suspicious anybody um, and if you're a part of the exclusive M Club which is a, a thing that Medicube does then it would be um, 3,700 for the pack of two I looked for this sunscreen on the US Medicube site and I couldn't find it so they either might just not be selling it in the United States because of the filters um, if I'm wrong please go ahead and let me know you, you know where to reach me but apparently it is sold in Singapore and Malaysia and I would presume obviously Korea so it's not like a Japanese exclusive, it might possibly just be an Asia exclusive. Next, let's go to the ingredients. So first is the UV filters. So here are the UV filters that this sunscreen has. It has five UV filters according to the site that I found. The last UV filter, to be honest, I'm like, it was, it was a lot of words and it was very scientific sounding and I did not know, not, not to say that I know what any of the other ones mean realistically. I can't just be like diethylamo, hydroxybenazole, hexabenzene. I sounded like, Lord please bless these people. <laughs> I didn't mean to hex anybody out there. That's what it sounds like when I'm reading these, when I'm reading these things. Not to say that I know any of these things, but this one didn't, I didn't find a lot of information. In, according to NC Decoder, it's a L'Oreal Group exclusive sunscreen agent commonly called Mexoril SX. So do with that information as thou will. One more thing with regards to the ingredients is that if you'll notice, one of the sunscreen filters that it has is titanium dioxide. And I'm not, again, I'm not a chemist, I'm not a specialist, but titanium dioxide is an ingredient often featured in sunscreens that like will make you, will give a white cast. So this is potentially a preview for what is to come, but just keep that in mind. So next, let's go on to the actual usage itself. Okay, so as far as the actual usage itself goes, I think it's best to describe it as I use the product. So let's get right into day one. So the texture coming the texture coming out of the tube, I thought was really strange. I've never seen a sunscreen formula looking like that before. I usually see it coming like nice and smooth. Like it's like, hey, I'm sunscreen. I'm finna be on your face. We finna chill. Yeah, I'm finna protect you from the rays. So my first assumption was that the hole was really small. I think it's kind of small. I'm like, so it created like a silly string effect. And this was legit my first time, this was legit my first time coming across this kind of texture. So I was like, is this legit? Did I get legit? I mean, it was free, but on a small side note, there are products, this is not to bash on Medicube because it would be nice if they sponsor me at some point. There are products from Medicube that I have gotten for free with the, uh, with the medic, what is it called? The devices that I have that are, that have been really good. Okay, so for example, like their collagen mask, this one, their collagen mask, this, it's excellent. The the Centella mask, this red Centella mask, excellent. This little zero keratin pad, it was great. So it sounds like they're really good at masking things. So I wonder if they're masking a giant scheme to get rid of their sunscreens. So for day two, I had to go into work so I didn't have any time to film in the morning. So I just filmed like once once after my first reapplication and then I filmed in the evening at the end of the day. So here are those clips. Okay, so I think it's been like 30 minutes maybe. It looks okay. It looks foots. It looks foots and goots. Um and now I'm gonna put on makeup and then like see if there's any kind of pilling, which I don't think there will be, especially with the cushion that I'm gonna use because it the cushion itself doesn't pill. But yeah, so let's see. Okay, so I finished I finished doing my makeup. 
I put on that and then I put on the tear tear and all the other stuff. And so for reapplication, I'm not gonna use this because the texture is kind of weird. And even if I did like reapply, no, no, I should probably use the one from Cynic. So I'll use this, comes time to reapplication. But so far, even with putting on the makeup, I didn't have any kind of like pilling or anything. So that's great. And yeah, gonna go out. Peace. Okay, so this is the end. I'm whispering because my roommates, I think they're sleeping. I, this is the end of day one. I only did one application and I, I didn't reapply. This is what my face looks like at the end of the day. So I think the Medicube sunscreen did a pretty good job. Okay, so this is day two um, at the end of the day and I reapplied I think three times. Oh, sorry. I'm so tired. And yeah, when I got home and I took off my mask, I saw that I, it was snowing on my face at some point. So that's great. But yeah, um, this is what the Medicube, the red one looks like at the end of the day. Um, so not great, not particularly great, but I mean, it's towards the end of the day and I kept taking my mask on and off. So, but if you have like, a workplace where you're gonna be taking your mask on and off maybe this is not the best this is i think day two of me filming it although I, what i had forgotten to show was oh you can't really see it on the camera kind of but you see how like it's like crusted up on my scalp deliciously like cottage cheese also my skin looks really dry yeah this is not it bro so this is pretty much immediately after application I had to rub in quite a bit to get it to look somewhat semi-normal. I'm um, sorry, I didn't mean to, to give you guys the finger. You see how like it gets stuck in the hair? Okay, but real talk, this is the last update of today. So if you, as you can see, or if you can see, my face is like peeling. It's got like these like poro poro. So like these little bits coming off. And today I didn't wear a mask. So maybe it's just with the reapplication it comes off and I did a little bit of exercise but it wasn't like I'm not over here like <gasps> I'm right yeah I'm just like I'm watching a k-drama and walking in front of the TV it's not it's not that big a deal so got this action going on mm, I got some questions Medicube I got some questions okay so because I have very dry skin because I'm only one person, I thought it would be good to include reviews from like at least one or two other people. So I did look up some reviews online. Okay, so since I was not able to find this product outside of the United States or outside of Asia realistically, I was not able to find any reviews from the United States, but here are some reviews from, this is one, for, I have one review from a Japanese person and one review from a Korean person. So I found the review, a review of this sunscreen on this Japanese cosmetics review site called Lips. And I'm not sure if I can show like the video that the person took, but I'ma just let y'all know that the texture of the sunscreen that came out of the bottle that they use is very different than the texture of the sunscreen that came out of my bottle. Okay, so here's their actual review and um, on their name, they have their they have their name, their screen name, and then it's Binkan Hada and their screen name. Binkan Hada means uh, sensitive skin, Binkan means sensitive, and Hada means skin. So Binkan Hada and then whatever their name is. And so then for the what they said in terms of the usage, the texture is watery like an emulsion, that it spreads easily, It like it spreads easily so a little goes a long way, that it doesn't have a white cast, it feels a bit sticky but it doesn't make the skin feel dry or squeaky, and lastly, that it doesn't have like the like typical sunscreen smell. So this is a classic case of one of these things is not like the other. And I would agree that this sunscreen doesn't have like a particular sunscreen smell or realistically any kind of smell that was noticeable to me. But I also have a very donkan. Oh, so remember binkan is sensitive. Donkan is like dull. I have a very dull nose. Like, bro, if there was, there was a gas leak, I'd probably be the first to go. I'd be like, oh, what greater? 
I, I don't have a very strong nose, so I can't be very... I'm maybe not the best judge with regards to fragrance, but this person said that they didn't smell it, and I didn't smell it either, so we're on the same page. Okay, and then I actually managed to find not a review of this sunscreen, but it seems that there was a predecessor to this guy right here. And that is this guy right here. And so I found this is a Korean YouTuber. His name is Hyuk. Hyuk. He writes it Hyuk, but I think you'd say it Hyuk. Anyway, he's a Korean YouTuber who makes uh, content toward for Japanese people in Japanese. So he's he's amazing. And he reviews, yeah, Korean products for a Japanese audience. And I will link the video down below if you're interested in uh, talk, hearing him talk about this ancient sunscreen. He talks about other sunscreens in the video too. Okay, so I watched the video and then watching the video, he mentions from around like 5 minutes, 5.01, he mentions that the sunscreen is no, the one that he has is no longer being sold it seems and they didn't have any reviews because of, and then they didn't have any reviews of this one because it might be too new. But I'll tell you right now, the Cube Japanese site does not have any reviews of this one and all I have is questions I, I took I screen videoed his video and if you look at the texture when he puts it on his arm it is completely different than what comes out of my tube so I am even more convinced that supposedly allegedly they're trying to get rid of this product is my idea that's why they're selling them in packs of two because they're like bro we're trying to get rid of this product get rid of it we need to hide this under the rug I think something funky is happening with the Medicube sunscreen department. Something suspicious. Something dark. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's get to the scores. Okay, so I do believe that this sunscreen gave uh, a white cast on me, but it's also not the worst white cast I've seen, if you could believe it. So I would give this a 3 out of 5. So for moisture, for moisture, I like, I feel like the sunscreen sucked the little moisture that I do have on my skin off of the pore cells of my face. They were clinging onto it and then the sunscreen was give it to me. Give me the moisture. So I'm gonna give this a 2 out of 5. The layer ability and reapplicability were not the best experience so I'd give this a 2 out of 5. The pilling, it was there. I was basically a narcotics dealer with all the little pills I had on my face at the end of the day. Or even before then. I just didn't notice until I got home. So I will give this a 5 out of 5 for pilling. For eye sting, I did not notice any particular kind of eye sting. I only have heart sting left over from the usage with the sunscreen. Think about that. Think about that as you're in my cabin. So as mentioned before, I, I cannot find this outside of Japan or outside of Asia, Singapore, or Malaysia. So um, easiness to find, I would give this a 1 out of 5. Because you can't find it in Malaysia, you can't find it in Singapore, I just you, you just can't find it anywhere else because they're trying to hide it. They're trying to hide their secret. Lastly, with regards to the price, since I couldn't find it outside of Asia, I can't give it a separate score for that. And on top of that, on the Japanese Medicube site, because you can only get it in a set of two, which of course, again, contributes to my uh, theory that uh, supposedly, allegedly, they're trying to get rid of these as soon as possible. But um, yeah, because you can only get it in sets of two, and it's pretty expensive, $20 for how many ounces? For 50 milliliters, $20 for 50 milliliters for this experience that just did not give me eye sting, but gave me a lot of heart sting, I don't think it's worth it. I give this, so given the weird texture, the unwanted dryness, the high price point, 50 fluid, okay. For 50 fluid milliliters, 50 fluid milliliters of not greatness at all, I would give this the cost a 1 out of 5. Okay, the final score adds up to a 19. And then divide that by 7, because there were 7 different categories that I judged it by. And then the score comes out to a 2.71. So it's a 2.71, take my money bag emojis doesn't even reach a three so i honestly think i want to believe in my heart of hearts i want to give them the benefit of the doubt and think that they just accidentally like this was a one-off faulty product that i got i kind of do want to buy another one to see if if, if the other one will do better because i feel like bro how can you go so wrong Will I give this another chance? The only way that I will give this another chance is, and I had forgotten that the website actually has another option for buying the sunscreen. So you can't buy it alone. You either have to buy it in 
a pack of two or there's one other pack that they recently came out with another sunscreen so you can get the new sunscreen and you can get this sunscreen it comes together in a pack so I could do that and then try their other sunscreen and try this one again to see if I just got a faulty like I was just very unlucky and I got a faulty one or if that's just how it is like this is this is my life you know like so that's something I'm debating oh yeah so for finally the big reveal is this going to make it into my sunscreen hoard I think that you can very much already tell that by my review and just my mmm displeasantness displeasedness with this sunscreen overall it is not going to make it into the sunscreen hoard it's not going anywhere my sunscreen hoard it has been demoted to a body sunscreen probably it's just gonna be a hand sunscreen it was not a great experience at all I would not recommend that you purchase this product let's put it out let's put this particular product out of business wow that's pro medicube I'm really coming for you I'm never gonna get that sponsorship am I anyway so that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you like this kind of content please remember to like and subscribe that would be so super great anyway I hope you have a super great day and yeah have a great day God bless be the best but yeah, cause you know, some of these, some of these sunscreens leaving you looking a little, you know, like a clown.